socialist Albania in its 40th anniversary. These are not ordinary years from the millennia year long history of a people which passed by leaving no traces. Socialism transformed Albania where our free and happy people are living by the sweat of their brow. The last four decades make an epoch for the wonderful transformations they brought about in the life of these people. Truly enough, the Albanian people call these years the years of real revival. The new epoch in Albania dawned from the barrel of the gun. The anti-fascist National Liberation War was a genuine people's struggle led by the party, a struggle waged by the people and for the people. It ended with the victory over the internal and external enemies. November 29, 1944, marks off a new page in the history of the Albanian people. The anti-fascist national liberation struggle ended in triumph. The Albanian people were faced with new battles to be fought for the transformation of the country. The first sparks of the light were the first victories of these people, 80% illiterate, but who cherished a strong desire in their hearts. In the first years, 1946 to 1948, the voluntary undertakings restored the ruins of war. Seaports, auto routes were rebuilt, electric stations, the telephone network, the oil wells and extracting and processing industry started to function. In 1947, the first railway line, Doros Pechin, 44 kilometers long, was built. In January 1948, over 25,000 young men and young women concluded the second railway line, Doros Tiran, within eight months. To this period belongs also the land reform the first revolution in the socio-economic relations in the countryside, which ended throughout Albania on the 17th of November, 1946. For the first time, the principle, the land belongs to those who till it, became a reality through this reform. Since the first years, the socialist sector emerged, which is made of the property of all the people administered by the state and the cooperativist property. Along with the increase of the number of farm workers, a new social category emerged, the cooperativist peasantry. From 1950 to 1955, illiteracy, this grave social evil inherited from the past, was done away with once and for all. 190,000 illiterates up to 40 years of age learned to read and write. Every step a battle. Every battle marked off a victory. Within a short period of time, the economy of the country was restored. Albania ushered on the road of five-year plans. This was the starting point of the industrialization and electrification of the country. During the first five-year plan, 1951 to 1955, Albania was transformed from a backward agricultural country into an agricultural industrial one. The country assumed an industrial physiognomy, priority being given to heavy industry. In 1955, Albania turned out within four months and ten days as much as it did for 12 months in 1950, or within 35 days, it turned out as much as it did in 12 months in 1938. The basis of modern industry was laid during this five-year plan.
collectivization of agriculture is a glorious page in the history of economic transformations. Agriculture was ushering onto the road of its intensification. From 1976 and on, Albania becomes self-reliant in bread grain. In 1983, over the entire wheat cultivated area, the average yield was 31 quintals per hectare, while in the plain areas, 45.8 quintals. people are living and working for the complete construction of the socialist society. It is the deed of the working masses led by the party. The newly molded man rises above all successes. He is the initiator of the great nationwide movements. The placing of the general interest above that of the individual has become the motto of life throughout the country. construction of the country is a bounteous source of initiatives and movements on a nation scale. Socialist solidarity is to mention only but one. Socialist solidarity has burst forth into a new powerful wave, especially in moments of natural calamities such as earthquakes. All Albania has been close to the affected. The earthquake of April the 15th, 1979, the most tremendous to be remembered in this zone. Within five months, a population of 100,000 inhabitants was rehoused, which is equal to the number of inhabitants of two big towns of Albania, Duras and Vlora, taken together. economic independence enabled her to get real equality with man. Transformations in the field of education and culture made headway since the education reform in the first years of the reconstruction of the country. The state ensured all the strata of the people of attending schools and other cultural institutions free of charge. Before liberation, Albania was the only country in Europe without a university. Now it has a complete educational system. In September 1957, the State University of Tirana was founded. The University of Tirana trains specialists for 68 professions. 
The Academy of Sciences, founded in 1972, is the highest scientific institution of the country. The government of the People's Socialist Republic of Albania maintains diplomatic relations with more than 100 countries. Culture, literature and arts have assumed a mass character in Albania. They are undergoing an all-round qualitative change. Our literature and arts are permeated by a sound national spirit. Art and culture rely on the national soil, on the people. They have their soil. Uh, the Museum of National History and the National Museum of Skanderbeg, dedicated to the national hero George Kestra Skanderbeg and the struggles of the Albanian people in the defense of their land. Today, Albania is a country where medical service is free of charge for all. A real revolution has been carried out in this field. The network of health institutions has been extended and it has further improved along with other measures for the protection of the health of the people. We started to speak of an Albanian science only after liberation. The all-round development of the country needed the organization and development of the scientific work. In January 1948, the Institute of Sciences was founded. In the same year, the Archaeological Ethnographic Museum and the Museum of National Sciences were founded, thus laying the basis for the coming cultural and scientific activity. Science and technology emerged and were further consolidated as such along the entire activity of Albanian life. is the work of the years of socialist construction. At the beginning of the 50s, Albania had only 14 small electric power stations. Five years later, its production increased fourfold. The construction of the hydropower station on Mat River marked the most important step towards the development of this industry. In the 60s, the first bases were laid for the unified electric power system and the production of electricity increased 2.5 times as against 1955. On the 25th of October 1970, Albania, the country which was lit by the torch and the candle for centuries, was completely electrified. The leader of the Albanian people, Comrade Enver Hodja, has said, this was a brilliant and truly historic victory of our social disorder. Another testimony to the sister's care of the party and the people's power for the all-round emancipation and development of our cooperativist peasantry. 
Since 1972, Albania has become an exporter of electric power. In 1982, as against 1960, the power industry increased its production about 18 times. Looking forward to its national day, the 40th anniversary of the liberation of the country and the triumph of the People's Revolution, with new qualitative achievements in all fields of life. Socialist Albania is the only country in the world which is making forward without any foreign aids or loans. There is no unemployment, inflation, taxes or levies in Albania. of the party metallurgical combine. It laid the foundations for the complex processing of ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Steel production of Albanian brand gave a new impetus to the engineering industry and prepared the ground for the setting up of a new branch, the machine building industry, which is the heart of socialist industrialization. of oil processing plant. This plant enabled Albania to make an intensive and complicated chemical processing of oil on the basis of a modern technique. figures which give you an idea about the light of the party hydropower station on the Drenu River. Its installed capacity of about 500,000 kilowatts per hour is greater than the power of all the hydropower stations built so far in Albania. Its dam, 166 meters high and 400 meters long, makes it a hydropower station with the highest dam of its kind in Europe and one of the highest of its kind in the world. This hydropower station marked an important stage in carrying into effect the scheme for the exploitation of the hydroenergetic sources of the Drini River, the biggest river of the country. During this five-year plan, 1981 to 1985, the Enver Hodja hydropower station, now under construction, will be commissioned. This hydropower station, completely designed and built with our own forces, is considered of a world level. In the years of the people's power, Albania set up its national multi-branch light and heavy extracting and processing industries. In 1982, total industrial output grew 2.3 times as against 1970. In 1982, the national revenues were 44% as against 7% in 1950.
In its 40th anniversary, Socialist Albania celebrates its real revival. The balance sheet of the struggle, work and all-round achievements in this prosperous country is the deed and property of the new happy man.